Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome to the beautiful Aura Fitness and Yoga Studio in Surrey, BC. Today we're up in our Spotique Spin Studio. We're going to be focused more today on training towards cyclist to batter training. So this would be ideal for those of you that have been forced to be at home maybe during this COVID pandemic or just simply want to do some indoor cycling. You know, maybe on a lunch break if you've got a bike and you work from home, quick 25, maybe 30 minute top interval training, which is gonna be awesome for working on a little some speed and uh, that kind of cardiovascular endurance using a little bit of sprints and recovery, sprints and recovery, so Tabata style. I'm gonna be using the Coke by Color system to help guide me through different intervals and, and which represents my functional threshold power output. So if you don't know those, the five different colors, white, blue, zone two, green, zone three, four is yellow, zone four, and five is uh, red. So they kind of, in simplest terms, represent different gears on a, like a standard vehicle, if you like. So they can pop on different colors to show us what zones we should be aiming to work at. So that's pretty much that. Those of you at home, use the, maybe the RPE scale, rate of perceived exertion, or using those gears to kind of give you an idea of where you should be working at. As always, just a quick medical disclaimer, you know, working out at home, you know, don't want to be pushing beyond your ability. You should know your, your standards and your efforts. If you feel any faint dizziness, you know, make sure you stop, get off and take a break there. And uh, if it feels very, you know, I'd obviously seek medical help. And let's go. Three minute warm up. We're gonna get this guy going. For me, I'm gonna be starting right around 80, 85 beats per minute. Just a nice, comfortable or RPM. This is probably displayed on your bike as RPMs. A nice, comfortable pace just to get that push pull movement on the legs. I'm staying at around my zone two here, lower zone two. So that's right around, like, say, 60% of your, your, your max effort there or your FTP if you are using one of these bikes. Let's have a quick check into the body, right? So find a comfortable position on the handles. Make sure you're keeping the spine fairly neutral. Belly button gently pulled into to the spine. I try to be one with the saddle, as I say, in some of my classes here, all right? And uh, really using that push pull on the pedals. So you're not just using the quads. You want to really feel both hamstrings, quads, calves, everything engaging, including the glutes. So let's just get into a nice comfortable breath. Going with it. We've already done one minute with that warm up, nice and easy. So the beauty with these colors, just while we're doing the warm up, I'll explain why I love using the Coach by Color system and the power training set up with these bikes is because it creates a fair game or even playing field depending on your fitness level. We assess people here as well at Aura Fitness and Yoga. We assess their FTP, their testing, and it will give you a number, an outcome, which will represent your functional threshold power output. So then when we're using the color system, it makes it an even playing field, if that makes sense. So very safe, it's measurable, and very effective when you're using interval training like this. So we've got one minute left. Let's get settled into this beat. Keep it nice and steady at about 80 beats per minute. So you can see below in the description what this workout's gonna consist of, but I'm gonna explain it real quickly now. We've got 35 seconds left. And we're moving into six rounds, six intervals of two minutes. Uh, work moderate to, you know, I'd say kind of your gear three, three to four. So you're working around that, say, 70 to 80 percent. Still using some, you know, aerobic exercise there. So getting a little bit of recovery on those two minutes. And then one minute where we're trying to push up to that 90, 95 percent. I'm trying to get into red zone for that one minute. It's going to really challenge my cardio. So in, into our two minutes. Again, now I'm going to increase the resistance with the dial just a little bit. 
and I'm going to keep my pace roughly around this speed, so around that 80 beats per minute. Music stayed the same. We're trying to find just a little bit more work on the leg. So if you felt like you were riding on a flat here, like on our screens, now we're going to just be on that slight incline in that green, maybe around that 80, 80 percent or kind of gear three, right? Beautiful. One minute ten left here. Then we're going into our first interval of one minute. seconds left guys. Remember six intervals coming up so don't be trying to peak too early like you're doing a race. You don't want to be gassed out coming into that final you know final quarter there. Try to find a nice steady pace if you're using watts. Try to keep your watts fairly consistent. You don't want to be jumping around on this minute interval. I'm going to try and get to the upper zone four. So for me, right around that 100% of my FTP, I've set my FTP at 210 right now, just so you're, for those of you using the bike, you're aware of kind of what effort I'm working at today for my interval training. Six, five, four, hand on the dial, give it a bit of a crank. Speed is going up to 125, 128. So a little bit of a sprint here, 128. I'm already in the red, so that might be a little bit too much for me, but we'll see how we do. Good, always gradually build up to it. You never want to just fast and then stop abruptly. You want to get into it gradually and try and find a nice consistent interval here, consistent pace, consistent watts. 22 seconds left on the clock. Aiming for that one, two, five, maybe one, two, eight if you can. Six, five, four, three, gradually easing it down. Beautiful, bring the speed back to 80 RPMs. Good guys. I pushed myself pretty hard there. I had my resistance up quite high for a sprint. I should have changed my color to red for you there, but that's okay. I was zoned in on the sprint. <laughs> One round down. We got a minute 35 left before the second battle. Now one suggestion, especially for those of you athletes, those of you who are either cross training for other sports or specific cyclists looking to train. I want you to note down exactly your numbers on each of the Tabata interval sprints. So where your watts is right now, you can see that in the bottom corner from my bike, or even the percentage of watts. So I'm at 80, 80% right now on my down phase, on my two minute down phase. And then I got up to about 165 actually on my percents, on my, uh, Sprint there, so that's gonna be a great thing for you to record. Why? Because if you're doing these intervals once a week, whether you're either cycling or other training, you can then start monitoring and recording your progress. And that's really, guys, how the pro athletes, professional elite cyclists are working on their game, is using the numbers, using the statistics, and being consistent. So we've got 30 seconds left before round two. Should be starting to feel it. Deep breaths. I'm gonna feel this one today as I did my two classes yesterday evening. Put about 60k on the bike. 10 seconds left here. So I start to build the leg speed a little bit. You might not even need to adjust the dial. 128 on the beat, guys. Bring it up. 
get them at 160, 162, 166 on the watts percentage. Trying to find that easy push pull. Stay focused, keep your head on the RPMs. So let's go. Here, guys. Eighteen seconds remaining. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and ease it back down. Nicely done. Keep the legs moving. Resistance down a bit if you need to. Maybe you're in blue. Yeah, a little recovery. Excellent. 80 RPMs, 85 RPMs is golden. One minute 30 left before interval number three. Feel free to towel off, have a drink, do what you gotta do. Try to keep the leg speed moving, guys. Easiest way to do it, obviously, nowadays with our technology. If you haven't done so already, just chuck it in on the notes. Know your intervals, know your percentages of your watts. That way you can kind of keep track as you go. One minute left here. Then we're going into sprint number three. I'm back up in the green, so let's get it there. Woo! Should have brought a towel. Good, finding a good steady pace with what you're trying to train, train here today. I'm sitting around 9 to 5, a little bit faster than the music, but I'm working on speed, right? So, resistance is down, I'm working on the leg speed a bit. 95, maybe 100 RPMs, if that feels good for you. Don't have to follow me, stick with 80 RPMs if that's good. 17 seconds before our sprint. Gear up. Breath steady, keep the mind calm. Start building that leg speed. Three, two, one. Round three, let's get into it, guys. 128 RPMs if you can, with the beat, with the music, right? With the beat. I can tell I'm bouncing around a little bit too much for me. I need to increase the resistance a touch. There's not enough resistance for me to stay controlled. 128, that's better. Now I'm back up to that 157, 160% on my watts. And that's my 321 total watts right now. 328. 18 seconds remaining, come on guys. 10 seconds, don't stop now. Four, three, two, and gear back. Excellent. 80 RPMs, deep breaths. Yes, we're building it now. Excellent. Try to get back into that zone. Three, ideally, maybe two if you need it. A minute and a half left, 90 seconds on the recovery. Make sure you're well hydrated before these routines. And you're really pushing the fluids after. Make sure you're getting your electrolytes in. Because we will sweat, even though it's only half an hour. Incredible way to really push yourself in cardiovascular endurance. One minute here. Good. 
Again, I'm going to drop my pace back down to about 80. I've been going a little bit faster. And I'm increasing the resistance and touch, ready for my sprint. 30 seconds, guys. Gear up. Never mind, you Fifteen seconds. Interval number four. I love these. Okay, we're ready to rip. Three, two, one. Up that speed. I love these uh, bikes because you can see all these different statistics. Now I'm bringing up the speed. So you can see as I'm trying to get my RPMs back up to that 128. We can show my miles per hour. I'm trying to keep that consistently about 24, 25, maybe 25. For this minute interval. We're moving through the night like we're from different streets. 28 seconds on the clock. With the beat, guys. Clear the mind. Let's go. Let's breathe. Stay with me. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's go. 10, 9, 8. Stay with me. And slow in the pace, nice and gradually. Well done. Well done. Back into blue, maybe. As things get more challenging, as the intervals get further along. Make sure you're using those two minutes to recover so you can up the intensity for the minute sprint. Deep breaths. Get rid of those. Good. 80 to 90 RPMs. One fifteen on the clock before the next interval. Doing awesome. Forty five seconds, guys. I've increased the resistance to touch and you're going to slow that pace back down. Yeah, and as you know, in the two minutes we've got our song or a piece per minute right around that 80. Find the rhythm. 30 seconds left. Feel free to ever take a short little stand if your hips get sore, if the glutes need a break. And then get right back into it. We've got 15 seconds before the next sprint, guys. Five, four, start to build. There we go. 128 if you can. Push it, guys. Interval number five, right? You got one more after this. Twenty-five seconds.
kind of. Yes. Good. Now let's be guys. You are athletes. You are champions. This is where we put in the work for the performance on race day. Be it at home, be it on the road. Let's get those numbers recorded and let's work at it. We've got one more interval here. Kicking it off in about one minute. Now's your time to recover. Then we'll have a three minute cool down and stretch out quick. And that is you done for today. Stay with me now. Five seconds. All right, again, I'm increasing resistance a bit, sliding my pace off of 100, back down to about 80. If you can push it more, that's what I want to see you doing, right? That's how you're going to get the extra kilometers on the bike where you get that push. 20 seconds to go, guys, and then we're hitting this last sprint for me. Deep breaths. Two, let's wind it up, guys and girls. Let's go. Last interval, folks. Come on, who's coming with me? Resistance up a bit more if you can. You can see the stats at the end. Let's work. One twenty-eight up the end. On that hill climb. We should all be done in this zone red now. You know the drill. 28 seconds. Ah. Come on guys, let's go. Stay with me. Twelve seconds remaining. Stay with me guys. Dig in now. Pushing that like the acid fire through it. Three, two, ah, into a cool down, beautiful. Nice work. Let's get into zone two, guys. Don't stop the legs. This is vitally important. Helping that Venus return. Get that blood circling back. Deep breaths, which helping to remove some of that lactic acid in the lower body. I'm going to keep my speed up at about that 80. It feels comfortable for me. And now on a flat. Awesome work. Deep breaths. Just over two minutes. We have a chance to get a little cool down and then we'll stretch out. those legs moving I'm just going to close out this video guys please drop any comments any recommendations things you want to see from us in the future I'd just like to thank Jesse Minty from the Healthy Tea for coming out to Surrey uh, Aura Fitness and Yoga today and helping get these videos out there for you and uh, thanks to Aura for the incredible studio we're going to be delivering many more of these in the future because I know there's a lot of you at home looking for some good quality home-based workouts and that's what we're hoping to bring to you so Please like and subscribe. You can check out and follow along any of our other live workouts from the Aura Fitness and Yoga page, uh, Instagram, Facebook, or on our website. Love to see you there. And if you're local, come drop in. You'll love the vibe and you'll love the workouts, that's for sure. We got one minute 15 left on the bike and then we'll stretch out. Just a touch. Really easing into this cool down now. I want to be low, lower than 50% on your FTP. And we're dropping it into gear one for this final minute. Ah, you know when you've had a good spin workout when you can feel your glutes are a little bit sore. Quads are feeling a little stiff. But it doesn't feel good. 
35 seconds left here. Nice, easy breaths. guys once again thank you so much for joining me feel free to stick around for my cool down stretch just wanted to close out and just say these kind of routines simple but so effective keep following along keep checking them out you're going to see some huge gains and improvement in your cardiovascular health fitness and strength overall i'm going to get into some quad stretches knees together hips Push it forward until I feel that stretch. Excellent. And I recommend you guys taking at least kind of 30, 40 seconds on these stretches, but I'm going to progress on. Feel free to do a second round and make them a little bit more developmental as opposed to just maintenance. And uh, if you've got a chance to get on a foam roller, I highly recommend rolling through the hips. guys at, uh, at Instagram, Tom underscore Baxter RMT, as I'm a registered massage therapist here at Restore as well, and uh, Baxter's Body Balance on Facebook, and uh, you can find a lot more of our content and videos at The Healthy Tea on YouTube. Uh, just stretching out guys, but thank you again for joining me, and we'll see you soon.